Hello and welcome. This is a video on empirical formula calculations. Now you will need a calculator for this video and I also want to say that this is suitable for all exam boards as this is a key skill in chemistry. Empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of atoms present in a compound and to explain this further I'm going to use the example decane. A decane is a hydrocarbon found in crude oil and it has the molecular formula C10H22 and to work out the empirical formula we need to simplify this to uh, smaller numbers so we find the largest number that goes into both of these and that is 2. So it will give us 5 and 11 and this is considered to be the empirical formula. Now this shows the ratio of carbon to hydrogen in its simplest form. Now you can have some molecules where the molecular formula and the empirical formula is exactly the same. For example carbon dioxide and methane, you can't simplify these further. So let's have a go at this exam question. Now, this exam question is from the C2 June 2015 higher paper, and it reads, an oxide of lead that does not have the formula PBO contains 6.21 grams of lead and 0.72 grams of oxygen. Calculate the empirical formula of this lead oxide. And quite conveniently, you've also got the relative atomic masses of oxygen and lead. The first thing I want to say is you will notice that the quantities of lead and oxygen are in grams. Sometimes you can get a question that has them in percentages. So for example, you might have 75% lead and 25% oxygen. But don't worry because the method for working out empirical formula is the same in both cases. So the first thing we should do is to write lead and oxygen in the order that was in the question. So if you remember, we had lead first and then oxygen. So for step two, we've got to divide the mass or the percentage, but in this case we've got mass, of each element by their relative atomic mass. So we've got 6.21 grams of lead divided by 207, which is the relative atomic mass of lead. Then you've got to do the exact same thing for oxygen. So we get these numbers, so we've got 0.03 for lead and 0.045 for oxygen. You then got to identify which one of these two numbers is the smallest, that's quite straightforward, it's lead. Now what we've got to do is divide these two numbers here by the smallest one of the two, and as we established earlier, that's 0.03. So we get 0.03 divided by 0.03, 0.045 divided by 0.03. And that gives us 1 for lead and 1.5 for oxygen. So what does that mean? So our formula now looks like this. So we've got PbO 1.5. So we've got 1 lead and 1.5 and oxygen. Now, that raises the question, can you have 1.5 oxygen? Now, the answer to that question is no, because if you remember what I said in the beginning, the empirical formula has to be a whole number. So to solve this, we just double up this molecule or multiply it by 2. So our final formula is PB2O3, and that is our empirical formula. So that is the end of the video. Please subscribe for more science videos, and don't forget to try the other empirical formula exam questions, and the link to that is in the description box. Thank you for watching.